They will have right to eat once again. Amen. Enjoy your life. Yeah. And so it's it all comes back to choice. Right? And that's the essence of religious liberty. Amen. The devil wants to take away people's choice. And God wants to re restore that choice. Amen. So so that's how we have to interpret everything that is happening around us today. We, we have to have the freedom to choose to love. And anything that restricts our freedom to love is a restriction on our religious liberty. That's right? That's right? right. Yeah. If, if you're prevented from loving, then that is an unjust law and one that should be protested. Right? Amen. It should be. And we have to discern because there's a lot of false, you know, fool's gold out there that can distract us. Yeah, there's a lot of unjust laws. I'm not going to say that all laws are just, but not all laws, unjust laws, are restricting our religious liberty, right? Mm -hmm. And so, as Christians, we need to, to understand where that, that lies. And, 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 of course, you say, well, what, what is law, law, love? Again, we, we talked about that in 1 Corinthians. But the most basic definition of love is the Ten Commandments, right? It, that is the character of God. And so, for instance, so when you, when you think about it, then you look at each commandment, right? If you are being forced to lie, is that something that goes against your religious liberty? Yes. yes. If you're being forced to steal, would that be working against your religious liberty? Yes. Of course. If you're being forced to commit adultery, is that something that is against your religious liberty? Yes. If you're being forced to kill, is that something that is against your religious liberty? Yes. That's why we, if, you're, if you're drafted in the army, they can't force you to kill. Right? We fought for that right. So with the evidence uh, and others. Uh, can you be, if you're forced to give up your children, again, that is against your religious liberty. If you're forced to break the Sabbath, that is against your religious liberty. If you're forced to blaspheme the name of God, again, that would be against your religious liberty. If you're forced to bow down to an image like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, right? That is against your religious liberty. And of course, if you're being forced to worship another God, that's the first commandment, right? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That is against your religious liberty, right? Because every one of those commandments Commandments of, of love, and if you're not being allowed to love, if you're being restricted to love, your religious liberty is being restricted. So, I, I just hope and pray that as we see the continued crisis happening in the world, the Bible says one of the signs of the last days is that the love of many will grow wax cold and cold, wax cold, right? That's one thing to people to give up on their own. And that's why God gives us a choice. People will choose not to love. That's their choice. But we can never be forced not to love. And God will never leave us or forsake us if we hold on to Him. If we cling to Him because He is our life. He will not forsake us. So I hope and pray as we look ahead, we understand that Jesus is coming soon, that uh, we let politicians fight their fight, mm -hmm. let's fight our fight. Mm -hmm. we got a message to share with the world, mm -hmm. Jesus is coming soon. Mm -hmm. And while they're distracted with each other, we still have time to get the message out. Mm -hmm. and point the world to the true character of God. Mm -hmm. He's not against mm -hmm. anyone. He's for us, he's pursuing us, mm -hmm. and his arms are outstretched everyone to receive salvation. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity to spend time just reminding ourselves the nature of religious liberty. And Lord, I pray that you inspire us to go into the world to represent you, to love as you loved, to pursue other-centered oneness with humanity because that is what you did. You laid your life down, gave it as a ransom to redeem the human family. Lord, may we be agents 
of redemption wherever we go. We love you and thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.